Good morning, everyone. I'd like to begin today, uh, obviously, uh, a little different. Uh, my name is Constable Eric Hoffley. I'm uh, one of the public information officers with the Winnipeg Police Service. We'll begin this morning's briefing regarding the suspicious incident involving the uh, discovery of the remains of uh, possible infants. On October 20th, 2014, at approximately 1 p.m., members of the Winnipeg Police Service were dispatched to a business in the 100 block of McPhillip Street for the report of suspicious circumstances. Human remains, believed to be four infants, were located within. The investigation is in its early stages. We are speaking with a number of individuals and are unable to comment further at this time. Autopsies are pending. Members of our child abuse unit are continuing with the investigation and they are asking anyone with information regarding this incident to contact them at 204-986-3296 or Crime Stoppers. Eric, any indication about how long maybe they've been in this sort of You know, again, uh, autopsies are pending and I expect that type of information uh, will be gleaned from the results of those autopsies. Can you say what kind of business this was? You know what, a, a storage facility is uh, what it was, and, and, and the remains were located within a, a, a storage locker or a storage unit. When you say infants, are the ages of the... Uh... No, and again, you know, uh, until autopsies are pending, my understanding is, though, we're discuss, uh, you know, discussing very young infants, uh, certainly not children, you know, oh. newborns, yeah, exactly, yeah, of a very young age. You know, again, uh, impossible to say at this point. You know, the investigation is not 24 hours old yet. Uh, all that information will hopefully um, be determined uh, as the days progress. We will have further information tomorrow. Uh, I do know that for a fact. But at this point, uh, again, I, I don't have a lot of information. Can you describe how this? Again, it was. Uh, uh, the business itself contacted us, and uh, you know, regarding these suspicious circumstances, you know, that that's how we uh, we ended up going there, and then from from there, you know, the discovery was made. And there's no discovery, Pardon? Your officers to have to uh, absolutely, for all involved, uh, you know, whether it be the the employees at the business, our officers, you know, anyone, emergency personnel. Uh, very, very disturbing, uh, you know, and tragic. You know, what the outcome will be after the investigation is complete remains to be seen, but that will not take away from the initial um, discovery and circumstances surrounding it. Is it clear who owns the locker and how police talk to that individual? Again, that would be part of the investigation. Uh, you know, we, um, we don't want to jeopardize at this point what, what's going on. And uh, our child abuse members are looking into that, and certainly uh, I expect we'll be able to, uh, to learn that uh, shortly, if not. Can you talk about what condition the infants were in? You know, I can't. It's, again, um, I guess, uh, you know, obviously uh, the, the way we're, we're describing it is it's believed to be for infants. Um, so the... Uh, you know, the remains were uh, uh, in a state such as that it's not obvious yet exactly whether we are dealing with four separate, uh, separate remains or three, you know, again, that will be determined at autopsy. What's being done to the officers? Anything being done to the officers who found the infants? Certainly, uh, you know, uh, our wellness officer has been in contact with them and, you know, uh, the service does provide counseling for officers when uh, when they become involved in these types of things and you know those that uh, struggle struggle with that uh, will certainly be provided all the uh, the counseling that uh, they require Anyone you know what at this point as i mentioned earlier uh, we are speaking with several persons and um, you know i don't have uh, any further information regarding that i am again uh, confident that tomorrow we will uh, we will be able to provide further information though you know what? We never confirm businesses. Uh, it was in the 100 block of McPhillip Street. I have seen uh, photos out on the web and that sort of thing. But you know what? We're not here to uh, to name businesses. You know who are involved in a tragic incident through uh, no apparent fault of their own. Have you ever come across anything like this in your experience here? 
Uh, so in this position, no, and uh, as an officer of 14 years, no, I, I personally have not. Is there anything else in this article? You know, I possibly, but I, I'm not sure uh, what other items may have been in there. Could you just clarify the use of the phrase suspicious circumstances? Was it uh, the, the bodies being found? Was there a smell? Was, what, what's the use to call it a suspicious circumstances? Was it lead? Uh, yeah, my understanding is it was the uh, the state of the remains that drew the attention to the of the uh, the employees, and, and therefore, so you know, the state of remains, was it smell? Was it you know, I, again, I, you know, I, I'm not getting further into it, but obviously, you know, uh, it was the remains that that uh, <coughs> caught the attention of employees, and you know, who of course immediately contacted us. Yeah, so. No, I, I don't have that information. Okay. So there is no foul play. And okay. there are these bodies in the storage container. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that in itself a crime? Is that uh, certainly. I mean, uh, you know, if, uh, if it's found that there was no foul play, uh, you know, obviously you, you're not allowed to, to, to store, to conceal human remains. And that in itself w would be a charge. Uh, again, until such time that the autopsies have determined what exactly was the cause of this, uh, we won't know what uh, the full extent of the charges may or may not be. What was the age of all the pigs? Did they have an age for the No, no, not, not at all. Do you know how they were stored? No, no idea. Okay. Yeah. You know what, no, uh, I just, again, in speaking with investigators and whether that stems from uh, the individuals they're currently talking with uh, today, I, I don't know, but uh, they have advised that, uh, you know, uh, they expect to have further information tomorrow. Would you also be talking with the, what is the regional health authority considering, um, you know, that the women who are expecting are expected to see doctors and then there's always follow-up? Oh, that quite possibly is part of the investigation being uh, you know, done by those members in the child abuse unit. Is Whitley Police investigating any missing infants? No, I think we touched on that earlier, and I'm unaware of the report of any uh, missing persons or missing infants. Okay. Do they full term? Again, that's, that remains to be seen. The autopsies will hopefully uh, be able to determine that, and from there, you know, the investigation will continue. No, I, I don't know uh, how long that may or may not take. Okay. And you're saying you're, you're confident that it was four? Infants? No, and that's why, you know, that's why we're saying that at this point it's believed to be four infants. So, you know, I don't, I, I have no further information to provide. I understand that, you know, this, this in incident, you know, tragic beyond belief, leaves many questions unanswered at this time, and it's unanswered they're unanswered for our investigators. And once we have those answers, you know, I will be here to, to provide them to you. But at this point, I have no further information. So, they are not. Okay. So on to our next uh, business. On the evening of October 16th, pardon me, 15th, 2014, emergency personnel were dispatched to the 2100 block of Henderson Highway for the report of a male in the river, or uh, pardon me, a body in the Red River. The body of an adult male was located and an autopsy has since been completed. The deceased has been identified as Ronald Weed, 54 years of Winnipeg. On August 20th, the Winnipeg Police Service requested the public's assistance in locating Weeb, who had been reported missing on August 13th. Foul play is not suspected. 